What's up, everybody? It's your brother, R.C. Koga. This is um, Sister Season 1, Episode 17. So, guys, we know that Zach was telling the truth last week that she's not pregnant. She was playing. She was, you know, it was messed up. Like, she she wanted to she say that because she wanted to be with Zach, but Zach realized he made Zach know he made a mistake. He didn't mean to cheat on Karen. He wanted to stay with her. Next week, remember, next week, Carrie gonna say she need a man that love her for her, not for her body, because she need a man. She don't want no jealous boyfriend either. Somebody that you need to trust your woman, pretty much. Yeah, we know Carrie messed up last week when she kissed um Aaron. But it's not like that with her and Aaron. They're just going to stay friends because Aaron just lost his ex-wife, a.k.a., you know, whatever her, his ex-wife name. Because she was crazy. She killed, took her own life at Carrie's job, right in front of Carrie and her co-worker. And speaking of co-worker, Zach didn't want to go talk to her. And she know she knows these things. Like, she told Zach, you better not screw this up. She knows Zach is a good person. He just need to act like it. He need to grow up. Even Danny was trying to talk to him because she we really want them together. She knows Zach is good, a good person, and she know um Zach regret what he did for sleeping with that woman because not they you know she didn't get pregnant. She was lying, and that's messed up. You faking pregnancy? You not right for that? I was so disappointed. And Aaron do like Carrie, but at the same time, Carrie told the truth that me and Zach just got back together. And he even told Zach, treat her, be- treat her well, because that's a good woman that you, that's a good woman right there, and you need to treat her well. And Zach jumped at him, and Aaron didn't even flinch. What do you expect? Like, why are you flinch? Why are you why are you gonna jump at him when you know he's not gonna flinch? You already learned your lesson. And he don't wanna be that guy no more. You see he turn his life around, being a a preacher and being the pastor. He don't want that lifestyle no more. He just wanna move on and keep it moving. And that's it. But yeah, and then we gotta see Andy and his her assistant and of course her you know, of course, um Gary was there. And launch your fucking basket, which is stupid, because that's how they start the episode. And he was trying to spray it to Annie, and Annie didn't give a fuck what he had to say, because she's done. She's done giving him another chance, because we know he was married, and she wished she never slept with a married man. I know she's being herself right now, and she told her sister, if you ever do this again, you would never, ever work in here again, or whatever she said, because we know that... And he got fired. And we don't know what she's going to do. She was trying. This man. I feel like he knew something wasn't right by that attorney. Because as he. Uh, as she called him. After she put them. After she put Aaron. Um, Gary. I could, Gary was jealous. Tell me I don't like that. I said dang. And he need a better man. Somebody that's got class. Because that an attorney. I didn't trust him. I knew he was going to try something suspicious. And it's messed up. And I feel like he's going to try to rape her next week. Because that's how they left the episode. And I knew something right with him. What the hell? And he should lose. He should get bars. He should get this bars. Because at the end of the day. And he don't even like that guy. Now he's seen what type of man he is. And pretty much. You know she's going to have to call the police. And you know she's going to be shaking. Then we got to see Calvin. We seen him one time because Sabrina kept blowing up his phone, kept calling him. And my thing is, I think she need to move on and leave it alone. You already, you already um judging him about him wearing less pant, less underwear or panty, whatever you want to call it. Move on already. Remember, Bonnie Blue missing it that she need to move on. I was with Bonnie Blue, and I mean that for a fact. You need to move on. And stop wasting your time because Calvin is done. She mo- he moved on. You he don't even want to hear your explanation like she he's done. And you know he's even told Maurice to mind your business. Seems like Sabrina just upset. And next week we are gonna see Sabrina at home laying down chilling. Look like she was watching TV. Cause when we gonna try to get her out of the house so she can go out there and have you know go out there and party. 
because now she feel like Calvin, she know Calvin don't want her no more. So she's going to try to move on. Yeah, good luck with that because that's what you need. You feel me? You know, you got to see Carrie talk to Zach. But, you know, they left that there. Because next week they're going to have a conversation. Because she's still not going to get all the fact that he saw them kissing. And he thinks something happened between them. And nothing like that. Danny been trying to tell you. And even her co-worker been trying to tell you. They didn't sleep together. They date once. Open your eyes, Zach. I know you're not that dumb. Open your eyes, dude. That's all I'm saying. And now next week, Danny going to say he's he's not my fl uh, slag or whatever. Whatever she say. Oh, she said he don't got no slag. I say, really? You was dating the guy. You you enjoy having sex with him. And now you don't want to hit him up? Well, Danny, maybe Danny don't need to get a man because she like she might not be good with test match. She might not be good with relationship. And I think she needs to stay single through her. And you know what's funny with Sabrina said that you and Danny are just like, and you know, I could definitely see it because they both messy. Mm-hmm. Both of them was messy. Oh, by the way, you got, Maurice going to be dressing like a woman, a drag queen. I say, I guess the dude is bisexual or maybe he's gay as well because he asked Maurice out because you know, Sabrina gave um, Maurice his number as a joke. But Maurice didn't give a fuck. He just wanted to have, he just wanted to sat and have fun and keep it with it too. Oh yeah, next week is going to be interesting. I cannot believe they still making, playing sisters, you know, keep playing the show. But I enjoyed this season. Hopefully they do season two. So I'll be happy about that. But anyway guys, I think that's all I have to say about sisters. Please share this video. Make sure you wait, comment, subscribe. Let me, let y'all, I mean, damn, sorry I can't talk. Let me know what y'all think about the video and about sisters. All right, I'm out. See y'all in the next one. I'm out. Peace out.